Here are some of the basic tools that you will need to make a Google Slides presentation. So to get to your presentation, you will go to Google Classroom because your teacher has assigned it to you and it will be waiting there. So you'll look for the nine dots or the waffle on the upper right hand corner. You'll click once on that and then you'll look for Google Classroom, which is this icon that has a yellow border around it. You'll probably only see one card here or one class here that you're registered in. And then you'll click in here to go get the assignment and it'll be listed right here. So once you open up your Google Slides presentation, it's going to look like this. There's going to be a blank slide right here and then there will be a space over here. This is your working space. If I want to add more slides before I even get started, I kind of like to do it that way so that things stay clean. I'm going to click on slide up in the tab right here and say new slide. Now you'll see there are two slides that show up on the left hand side. I'm going to do it again because I think I'm going to need at least five. So I'll keep saying slide new slide and I'll make sure I do that until I have five or six slides and then I can always delete any empty ones later. So now you'll see that they're numbered on the left hand side and each one of those little boxes represents a work area for me to show my work. So my first, I'm going to click on the first slide and I'm going to give myself my project a title and I'm going to call it animals that survive in winter. If you decide that maybe that text was too big, you don't like the way it wraps around, if you click, if you tap three times, one, two, three, you can highlight the whole thing and then grab this arrow and make that number smaller. So obviously 52 is too big of a size for my text. If I go down to 36, that might just be right. Since it's still selected, you can see it selected in blue. If you click on the arrow next to the word Arial, which basically is the font. It means the style of the letters. You can change it to something maybe a little bit more relaxed looking. Now I'm going to click off and show you how you can take your text and move it. So you tap on it once to select it. You can look for the four arrows. If you only have two arrows, that won't move it. That's just going to change the size of the box. But if you have four arrows, you can click and you can drag it up like that. If you want to add a subtitle, which basically means a little bit more detail, you would click in that box and then type in more detail or type in your name. Now it's time for me to work on the second slide. So I need to select that one because the one that I'm working on is selected for me. You can see it's kind of highlighted in the background in pink. So I'll select slide number two and here I'm going to make my title chipmunk. So I clicked in the text box and I'm going to type the word chipmunk. Now, if I want to add a photograph, I better look around. I think I could go insert image. I'm not going to upload it from my computer unless I already have it there, but I can search Google photos. And what's cool about Google photos is that you're allowed to use them. You don't have to worry about giving attribution or about worrying about giving credit for using the photos. They're free for you to use in your school project. I'm going to click on the search button. Actually, I think I went to the wrong spot. Let me go back and try that again. Insert image. Oh, search the web. That's what I was supposed to do. So sometimes if you make a mistake, you need to go back and figure it out just like I did. I'm going to search for chipmunk. And then I'm going to press my selection or press the enter button, which is on the right hand side of your keyboard. Oh, I have some great choices. I can either click and drag it over or I can double click on any of these images and it will go right into my slide, the one that I'm currently working on. So I'm going to double click on this one. And let's see, there it is. It's too big. So simply what I can do is I have to hover over it and when I have the four arrows, I can click with my left finger and move it, or I can get two arrows and then click with my left finger and shrink it. And shrinking it seems just right for me because I need to say a little bit of text. And I click in the text box with one click and I'll say, did you know that chipmunks 
hibernate in winter. Oops, I have a problem. My text box is now underneath my photograph, but I know that if I take my clicker and my arrow and I get two arrows, I can click and drag this text box over there and now I can read it. So it's time to go to my third, my third slide, which is right here. And on my third slide, I may have more interesting information to put in. So this is your basic tutorial and the basic rules that you need to get started in your Google slide presentation. Good luck.